Hi friends, here is Aicha from Aichar Academy. In the last video, we have seen undefined collections, and then in, the, in this video, we are going to see how to retrieve like our conditional data from defined user defined collections. So, for that purpose, let me open the like last before video like process like, and then uh, so let me run this process. So here I would like to get the conditional data from this one. Let us say latest date or oldest date, whatever. And for this one, so to get the conditional data, the first one is at loop stage so delete the link then loop stage and link it so reset it and you know about this one the loop stage is always associated uh, with the collection stage and then choose and sample data then um, select and sample data or else click like no date then click on ok and then and if you'd like to be the process flow okay let me run this one let me run a bit faster the process is running but whereas it is not showing. So for this purpose, we, will, we can add like a you know, node stage to be the process flow. Just uh, add like a you know, node stage, then run it. Then delete the node stage here. So here what I am going to do, here first I am instructing blue prism, my required version is in the first row, for that one we need to uh, define like one counter, the counter and the initial value is number and then value is 0, then let calculation stage here. So date, then increment counter, then resides in counter data item means like you know current value. You add one decision stage. Means like a condition. date and then my required one is in uh, first row dates the counter is one and the result Obviously, the result, uh, result will stores in collection stage. There's like conditional date. And my required one is in the first row. And then you can as you store the result in a like result date and click on shortcut here. Now link it and the first one is like you no know, the first outbounding from decision stage is always says yes and then it stores here and then the will loop ends here. 
Now reset it, then run it. Okay, let me run the process. And the results will store here. And if you observe here, the date is not changing because we instruct blue pressure our required one is in the first row itself. Okay, let me run it a bit faster. It saves time. Okay, right. Let me get like conditional date from here from this table, and for this one, I need to add like one more decision stage. So, result date. The date should be less than the date in the table. And the link it and then the first outboard link from this decision stage goes to like you no know, this result calculation like a calculation stage and next goes to this one. And for this one, okay, so reset it and then run it. So it's checking every row. So right, we got like you know latest starter date, and then I would like to get like you know old date. Okay, let me change this uh, table here. Let me assign one day. Let us like a year two thousand. Here I require this date. Then save it. Then close it. Now let me change the condition here. So reset it and then run it.
so far in this table this is like a voltage state that's why it's not like you know um, showing like it's not changing now the data is changed is done okay let me make it like a bit beautiful using like a anchor stage so link it then run it just run it a bit faster so in this process so what i did i add like one loop stage and then add loop stage to collection stage and then I have taken a counter on data item counter and initial value is 0 after that I have taken one calculation stage The expression is counter plus one and stores in counter only. Stores in counter and the fifth one is take a decision stage. The expression is the counter is 1 and the next one I have taken one calculation stage and then choose the expression is the date column in the table and the seventh one is okay for this one then stores in date data item so created by us So example, so result date. And the seventh step is, and again I have taken one decision stage. The expression is the result date. So less than, greater than, or date column in the table. And finally the result will store, result stores in So result date, 
so date item okay uh, thank you for watching the video uh, please stay with us for more uh, videos in uh, regarding like on ms excel uh, business object and then with the various uh, stages and we'll see in some real time scenarios so in this case okay thank you for watching and please stay with us and then if you really like it please subscribe it thank you